Good Wednesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. Low pressure is deepening across the central and eastern Gulf, becoming a storm force low and heading for southeast as it's spreading rain across southern sections of the Panhandle today. Rain and thunder falling around Haida Gwaii. Northward, it's snow for the capital city and into the Lynn Canal. Gusty winds will be a problem as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. We're not expecting damaging winds, but we are expecting a pretty strong wind to blow through a large part of the region. So so keep track of the forecast as we go through tonight and tomorrow. Across South Central, snow has been falling gently for most areas around the Kenai Peninsula, South Central, Matsu, and all the way into the upper Tanana Valley. Areas of light snow should continue through tonight and into tomorrow in the same general places, starting to look like uh, winter a little bit more. And cold air is rushing into the interior with temperatures dropping into the low to mid-teens below zero tonight as we head into the next couple days. A look out to the west coast shows low pressure is working into the west coast around Nunavak Island and Etolan Strait, 986 millibar low there dragging in plenty of cold air across the Bering Strait and St. Lawrence Island. And that's where we find a winter weather advisory for snow and wind and a high surf advisory for the north-facing shoreline as it heads through tonight and into tomorrow. It looks like those north winds will not quit for the immediate future, so plan on blustery conditions to last well into the weekend. However, the winds should subside at least a little bit in their intensity as we go through uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. In the meantime, do expect snow and blowing snow in some cases there, especially along the north slope. Areas of light snow should be expected around Wainwright up toward Utgavik and eastward toward uh, Prudhoe Bay and Kaktovik. Across the interior, a trough of low pressure will lie across the Yukon Valley. Watch for areas of light snow and snow showers in the region. And just south of the central Aleutians, a 963 millibar low is gearing up there with strong easterly winds moving into the region tomorrow. And then by Friday, the low is in the western Gulf, deepening to 954 millibars. It looks like a very strong south and southeasterly flow making its way into the northern Gulf. The strongest winds will be from about Sand Point up toward Kodiak Island, where periods of rain and rain mixed with snow should be expected. About that time, southeast should get a little bit of a break with low pressure moving into British Columbia, and snow will continue across south central and many parts of the interior as colder air continues to flow into the region. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder. Find us online anytime at weather.gov slash Alaska.